How's it going everybody? Marshall with Heiner Outdoor Living and I am standing right next to a recently completed pondless water feature and this video is going to be about what it is that's installed and expectations and ways to help keep the integrity and maintain it throughout the years to come. So throughout this video I'm going to explain a little bit about what this system is and also answer a lot of the frequently asked questions that I get from customers. What is this system? How does it work? And what are some things to be mindful of? The first question is gonna be, what is the basin and what is the purpose of that basin? What I am standing on is currently the underground basin of this water feature. It consists of a liner, underlayment, and aqua blocks with a pump vault. The whole purpose of this basin is to be an underground reservoir to sustain the water within the stream. And there are a couple things to keep in mind of when it comes to maintaining the basin. The first and foremost is gonna be making sure that the basin has a sufficient amount of water in it so you're not suffocating the pump within the pump vault. It is ideal to fill the water feature up with water approximately once a week. One step when it comes to maintaining the basin and the water feature is making sure that there's a sufficient amount of water. As you can see right here, we have the aqua blocks and you can see that water pooling up here. When you know when to stop is when you start seeing that water come approximately one inch above the aqua blocks. Another thing to keep in mind when it comes to maintaining the basin is be mindful of all the leaves or debris or anything that comes and falls into the basin and it's good to clean it out once a week as well just so when it does fill up this water that you see pulling up here might not be able to find its way down underneath the reservoir but can carry itself out and over the liner if ignored over a period of time another question that i have is where is the pump and how do i access the pump and when going back to the design you can see that the aqua blocks are here and the pump vault is typically on its side we like to design the pump vault to where it's easy enough to maintain and we typically do it by covering it with a little bit of lar larger gravel and what we'll do is expose this pump vault so you can see the mechanics behind it what i just did is remove the gravel from the pump vault and this is how you access the pump if all you're looking to do is see where the water level is within the water feature itself is sometimes all you have to do is remove a couple of the rock and you can look through here with the people look down and see the water level located within this pump vault you have your auto fill and a check valve this check valve is what allows us to make the connections to the pump itself since we're on the discussion of the pump vault, how to access it and look with inside. It's a great segue into frequently asked questions on winterizing your water feature, because if you do choose to winterize your water feature and not have it run, the way to do that is by accessing the pump vault and pulling the pump out and storing it in a bucket of water. The purpose of storing it within a bucket of water is to help keep the gasket sealed and the pump to help prolong the life of the pump. Now, when it comes to the step-by-step -step process of taking the pump out, the first step is going to be to unplug the water feature up itself. And then as that water comes down, the only thing you have to do is to unscrew the top section of the union. In that process, you unscrew this. It allows that water from the pipe to come out to prevent freezes. And then it's as simple as pulling the pump out of the blocks. And this is also a great time to clean it off. And that is how you pull the pump for winterization. Now that the water feature is installed and it is looking beautiful, we want to try to keep the integrity of what this water feature is designed to do. With that being said, there are some proper expectations to expect when maintaining a water feature. One, it is a living, breathing ecosystem and algae will come. It is not a matter of if, but when. And when it comes to a little bit of biofilm and green on the rocks, that is to be expected. And it's actually part of the system that has been installed. 
what we want to do is to make sure that we're taking the appropriate steps to keep that algae in check and not to have it become really stringy and unsightly. One way to help keep that algae and the integrity of the water feature in check is to add the appropriate water treatments. If the water feature is looking pretty good and we're trying to prevent any algae from overtaking the water feature, the best water treatment to use is either gonna be a beneficial bacteria or a prevent from aquascape. And we will go ahead and put a link below to the necessary water treatments that we like to use within the pomace water feature. When using water treatments, it's always ideal to be consistent with them. You can either go with an automatic dosing system or just make sure that you come out weekly to add the appropriate amount of water treatments within the feature itself. Even though this water feature has approximately 100 to 120 gallon basin in it, I always like to treat palmless water features as a 500 gallon system. If you go with a Aquascape Prevent, which is the suggested water treatment to be used for this water feature, it comes in an easy one squirt per 100 gallons system. So what you would do is you would open up the bottle, squirt five squirts throughout the stream as a treatment for 500 gallons once a week. Besides weekly maintenance, there is one other annual performance that we suggest to do with these water features, and that is an annual spring cleaning. What that entails is coming out, bringing in holding tanks, pressure washers, and giving this water feature a good thorough cleaning to hit a reset button to set the water feature up for a successful year of maintaining it. If you're a little bit more interested in what it takes to do a professional cleaning, feel free to check it out some of the videos we've done in the past on water feature cleaners. When it comes to a newly installed water feature, there are a little bit of warranty things that you wanna be aware of. One is labor. We do warranty our work for a year and that covers any settling over time where that liner might go below the soil and water drains out the pondless water feature quicker than it should. And that is something we will always come out, take care of you to make sure that we pull that liner up to give you a leak-free water feature. Another aspect when it comes to warranties is gonna be within the pumps or the lighting fixtures themselves. And when it comes to those, it falls under a manufacturer warranty. The pump has a three to two year warranty depending on the style of pump installed and the lights come with a five year warranty. If you would like us to come and cover the labor to replace the lighting fixtures or the pumps, we would be happy to do so. It just does come with a service fee to cover our labor to come and replace those warranty parts. I hope that this video was helpful in maintaining your new pomless water feature. If this is something that you just want to hit an easy button and sit back and enjoy it without any headaches, we do offer maintenance options to help you maintain this feature throughout the season, whether it's from winterizing, cleaning, or monthly maintenance throughout the season itself. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. We'd be happy to answer any of them. And please like, subscribe, come back. We do a lot of videos of how-tos, installs, and much more.